Hey, what's up guys, and welcome to another video. So, in this video, it's pretty much giving you a tutorial of how to set up your memory card when you purchase it from me. They already set up to work on the PSP 1000, 2000, 3000, and PSP Go. It doesn't matter if you got the United States version or Japan version, and it also don't matter what um, firmware you're running. The memory card is pretty much set up for all of that already. So, this one is a Japan version personal one let me turn this on so i got the uh, camera gotta focus all right so i got the 32 gig 64 gig currently in stock um, i got plenty of those all the links to purchase either one is going to be in the description below but note that if we get the 128 gig the load times is going to be take a lot longer than the 32 gig and 64 gig memory cards so let's go to settings and then i think i passed it system settings and then down to system information you can see it's running the official firmware version is 6.61 just the psp 3001 so now let me show you say all of these is already set up so it don't matter which one i put pop in so each, no matter which one you get, it's going to come with the adapter and whichever memory card size you purchase. All of them are SanDisk Ultras. So, I'm going to pop it in. And like I said, it doesn't matter what PSP or version you're running. So, as soon as you get the memory card, like you see, all I did was pop it in. And you can see some of the PlayStation games that's already on here. And you can't play them because... Say the PSP is not set up yet. So what you want to do, go down to Pro, go to the update, and it says I got the Japan PSP, I press circle. If we got the United States, it's most likely X. So what you want to do, let's start up the app. <clears throat> All right, so it's going to take you to this screen. So as soon as you pop in the memory card, what you want to do, it's like you see here, press X to it's custom firmware so if you do this press x it does everything then press x again and then you're good to go so it's going to reboot and then go back to the memory stick and then you see all the games that that's on the memory card so all of these no matter which one you get the 32 gig 64 gig or 128 gig it's all going to have the same games now if you don't want any of the games that's coming on the memory cards if you don't have a computer at home to download the games and put it on your psp let me just shoot me a message let me know what games you want and i'll swap out some or all the games to all the games that you want those of you that do have a computer at home um each memory card is going to come with a link to the youtube video which you're watching now and the website that you can download the games from so each memory card the firm, custom firmware that I'm installing is for PSP and PlayStation games. So this is all the games that's going to come on every memory card, unless you tell me otherwise in the message. So you got Need for Speed, Most Wanted, 510. You got Monster Combat, Unchained. You got Metal Gear Solid Portable Ops Plus. Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker. Mega Man Maverick Hunter X. Killzone Liberation, Gran Turismo, God of War Ghost of Sparta, God of War Chain of Olympus, Dragon Ball Z Shin Budokai, Daxter, Crisis Core Final Fantasy, Crash Mine of Mutants, Call of Duty Rose to Victory, Assassin's Creed Bloodlines, Tomb Raider Legends, Tomb Raider Anniversary Edition, Sonic Rivals 1 and 2, Silent Hill Origins, Silent Hill Shattered Memories, Ratchet and Clank Size Matters, Prince of Persia, Need for Speed Underground Rivals, and then these are PlayStation games. So Crash Bandicoot, Metal Gear Solid, Spyro, Crash Bandicoot, Warped, 
and Crash Bandicoot Cortex Strikes Back. And then if you got like the 3000, this is the official firmware. So if you got an old one, you can automatically just push this. So mine's already updated to the fresh firmware. So even though you launched this, the custom firmware, it still recognizes that it has the official firmware. So say you want to sell your PSP or PSP Go and you want to re revert it back to stock. All you got to do is run the app again. Well, actually, let me go back real quick. Sorry about that. So even though you're running custom firmware, it's not going to break your PSP or stop your UMD games from working. So give it a sec to load the UMD. And this is not a permanent um, hack. So each time the PSP fully dies or you fully turn off your PSP, you're going to have to go back and run the app. So see, the UMD still works. Let's run that so i show you how proof. So see, it works. So, exit. Oops, I didn't even exit. All right, so that's what I was saying. So say you just want to sell your PSP or PSP Go to uninstall the custom firmware. All you got to do is go back. Go back to the update. It's going to take you back to that screen. And then, as you can see right there, press triangle to uninstall. And now it's back to normal. Then you just take it up. So hopefully that answers any other questions. I know I've been getting a lot of messages on Macari. Well, this I'll be selling these on Macari, Facebook Marketplace, and in the description below of this YouTube video. So don't worry, I got plenty in stock. If I run out, I'll order more. But I have did all the work. I downloaded it, set it up and everything. So all you got to do is, like I showed you, just pop in the memory card, run the update app, and that's it. You're good to go. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Um, any other questions you want to know, just hit me up in the comments below or shoot me a message on my social media, which is in the about section of my YouTube page. And I'll see you on the next one. Peace.